Hello everyone, this is May Park. Today I'm excited to share a video tutorial on how to make a watercolor card using gold embossed images. This video is part of Blog Hub for Art New May release, so make sure to check out the Art New blog for more details and I hope you can join this inspirational blog hub. Don't forget to enter giveaways to win prizes from Art New. For this release, I've designed two floral stem sets, Spring Daisy and Lotus, inspired by the photos that my brother took in South Korea. I can't wait to see what you guys will make with my stem sets. In this video, I will be using the Daisy stem set and Hafton Smile stem set, along with coordinating dies to create my card. Before I started, I want to share what I've tried out before. I usually test out a couple of designs before I make a video. This is cold pressed watercolor paper from Archis and I'm trimming my watercolor paper using Timor's paper trimmer. I'm prepping my watercolor paper with anti-static powder to get the best result with heat embossing. I'm pulling out my stamps from the spring day stamp set and I'll be stamping the images using my stamp press and balsamic watermark ink. My watermark ink pad is kind of inky from my other stamps stained with the colored inks. But no worries, it don't affect my heat embossing but help me see where I stamped before. After I'm done with my stamping, I'm gonna sprinkle some Ranger Super Fine Gold Embossing Powder and tap up the excess. I'm also using my tweezers and small paint brushes to flick away any straight powder from sticking to unwanted areas. Then I will heat them my images with the heat tool until they are completely melted. I will taping down my watercolor paper on a chipboard sheet using painter's tape. This will prevent my paper from warping while watercoloring. It's now time for watercoloring. I'm gonna use the Mizello Mission Gold 36 watercolor set. This is my second time using this but I'm still not sure if I love this watercolor set or not. So here I have my Mission Gold watercolor set, watercolor palette, round paintbrush size 8, clean water and paper towel ready on my desk. I'm gonna wet my paper first with water and then I will start bringing some color. I'll be using paper towel to remove the pigment between adding more colors. I'm also going to use my heat tool to let the paint dry before bringing more colors to the images. Now I'm going to turn on some music and speed up the painting process so you can watch me color. So I'm done with my watercoloring 
and I'll be die cutting my images with a spring date die set. I'm gonna pull out the dies from the set and secure them on my paper using washi tape. Then I'll be running them through my cutterbook die cutting machine. So here I have my die cut images and I'll plan out the layout of my card to see where I want to add my sentiment. By the way, I'm using wood grain white cardstock from Altenew for my card base. I'm gonna use the Hapton Smile stamp set for my sentiment and heat emboss the smile with gold embossing powder and die cut smile with colorbook die cutting machine. Then I'll mount my flowers, leaves, and smile die cut word on the card front using foam tape. I wasn't sure which sentiment would go with smile die cut word, so I already heat embossed a few sentiments on different colored cardstock. I'm stamping my sentiment with watermark ink and heat embossing it with a range of super fine detail white embossing powder. I'm trimming off my sentiment banner using scissors and mount it on the top of the smile die cut word using foam tape. Then I'm gonna mount my panel on an A2 size top folding card using double sided tape. As you can see, I'm having a hard time arranging my flowers. My husband told me there were no big difference between this and that, but I had to keep trying until I was satisfied with the arrangement. To finish off my card, I'll be adding some clear drum list from Pretty Pink Posh on the card front. Before I go, I want to show you my messy desk inspired by my amazing friend Yana. In a recent video, she shared the real process of making cards and talked about the difficulty during her creative process. She also mentioned making a clean and simple card doesn't mean that it's easy to make. I couldn't agree more with her. I usually spend a few days to finish just one card. From brainstorming and sketching out the designs to testing out the cards. I also don't mind starting over when I mess up. I don't clean up my craft desk until I finish my project. What does your desk or craft space look like at the moment? I hope I'm not the only messy person out there. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed my video and loved what I made. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with another video next time. Bye bye!